Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. So if you want to know how to get this red smoky eye look with these glitter lips, then just keep on watching. To start this look out and create a flawless base, I'm priming my skin using the Tarte Flawless Primer and I'm going to be applying this with my Real Techniques brush. For foundation, I'm using my personal favorite at the moment, which is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. And I also really love this in the stick formula. I use it almost every day. I'm just dabbing this onto my skin using a beauty blender and then blending this out until it's super seamless and ready for concealer. For concealer, of course, I had to use my obsession lately, which is the Tarte Shape Tape. I've been using this since it came out and it's just so good. I use the shade light and it's just super full coverage and perfect for concealing and highlighting. I'm pretty sure it's sold out everywhere right now. It's that amazing. So when you get a chance to grab it, I suggest you pick it up because it's so, so good. So I'm just going to be blending this out with my beauty blender as well until it's nice and blended. And then we're going to go ahead and set this with a translucent powder. I love to set using the Laura Mercier translucent powder as well as the Cody Airspun in Naturally Neutral. And the Cody Airspun is a great drugstore option if you are looking for a translucent powder. To set my whole face, I am using my Urban Decay Ultra Definition Foundation Powder in Light Warm. For brows today, I'm using a pomade and this one is by Benefit Cosmetics. It's called Cabrow and I use the shade number 5. I like to go in first at the tail end of my brow and work towards the front. When I get to the front of my brow, I go ahead and flick the brush upwards so I can get some hair-like strokes going. And I really like the way this looks because it gives a nice natural effect in the front of the brow. I always set them with a brow gel when I'm finished filling them in. And today I'm using the Benefit 3D Brow Tones in Deep, which is super interesting and unique because the gel actually adds color and dimension to your brows, making them look 3D and I just think it's really really cool and I have been really loving this product lately. So for this eye look I'm using the Lime Crime Venus palette and I'm taking the shade Rebirth which is a really beautiful coral color and I'm going to be sweeping this right into the crease using a Sigma E40 brush and this is my favorite brush for the crease and the transition color. Next, I'm going to pick up the shade Creation, which is a much richer, warmer brown shade, and I'm going to be going right over Rebirth, just deepening up the crease and adding some dimension by layering these colors on top of each other. To do this, I'm using a MAC 224 blending brush. Picking up the shade Muse, which is a gorgeous deep red, I'm going to be deepening up that crease further, and I'm just concentrating this on the outer V of my eye. For smoky looks, I always like to layer different shades on top of each other and blend until I get a nice gradient going. The more colors you blend, the more smoky this look will turn out. So grabbing the shade Venus, which has some shimmery reflex in it, I'm going to be popping this right onto the lid with a dense flat brush. This added a little dimension, but nothing too crazy, and I'm actually going to go in with something a little bit more shimmery later. Taking the shade Aura, I'm going to be using this for my inner corner highlight as well as my brow bone highlight. And this is a very subtle yet shimmery shade. It's not super intense, so it doesn't take away from the smoky look, which is what I really wanted to be the main focus. To add some sparkle to the lid, I'm going to be taking the shade Drift from ColourPop. And this has a bit more shimmer and sparkle to it than Venus did. It's so beautiful, and to me this is the perfect fall eyeshadow shade. I'm going to start smoking out the lower lash line by using a brown eyeliner first and applying this to my waterline. And after, I'm going in with a pencil brush and I'm going to fade in the color Venus. And then to deepen it further, I'm going to use the color Muse, which is the darker red I used earlier. This is more concentrated on the outer corner of my eye. And I dragged Venus down a bit for a nice fade and some smokiness. To highlight the inner corner, I'm going to pick up the color Aura again and I'm just going to dab this right into the inner corner and bring this up a bit into a C shape. For lashes, I'm using one of my faves by Flutter Lashes and these are in the style Crazed. They are super thick so they definitely add some drama to this look. To finish off the eyes, I'm going to take the shade Icon which is a very deep and dark brown. I'm going to press this into the waterline 
and then I'm gonna smoke out the outer V because why not? We definitely need this look to be super smoky and the brown really, really adds just that perfect dimension. To contour and bronze today, I'm using something that's pretty new to me that I've really grown to love in the last two weeks. And this is the Wet n Wild Contour in Dulce de Leche. This has a highlight shade and a contour shade, but I'm taking the contour shade and just bronzing my face with this. Not so much contouring, but just warming up my skin. And this has such a great color to it. I love it. This is a great product from the drugstore and I highly recommend it. Next, taking the same shade, I'm gonna go in and contour my nose. I'm just gonna create two lines down my nose that are closer together than my actual bridge. And then I like to go in with a smaller powder brush and blend out those lines so they look a bit more natural and seamless. For blush today, I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Pearlescent Pink. And this is such a beautiful drugstore blush, another product I highly recommend. It's super pigmented and has a nice sheen to it, so I definitely recommend this. It's so pretty, especially with this look. For highlight, I'm using the shade Boozy Brunch by Wet n Wild, and this is a nice golden highlight shade. I would say this highlight looks good with just about any look. I like to spray my brush first and then apply this directly to my cheekbones, forehead, and also the bridge of my nose using my fingertips. For lips today, I went in with a mixture of Namaste by Tarte and Rave by Tarte. I just applied this directly to my lips with a lip brush. I really love how these two colors look mixed together because they have a warm reddish undertone that I feel really complements these red smoky eyes. Another option that I also really love is the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in Celebrity Skin. This is a beautiful neutral nude shade and I wear this all the time. I decided to top this off with glitter and I used the NYX glitter which looks super unique. It's so gorgeous because it does have some greenish reflex in it and I really love the way it looks on top of this nude lipstick. Alright beauties, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me, and I will see you all in my next video.